What's up guys, it's Kelly here for this week's video. I'm going to be building a spool winder for the fuel distributor. I bought the fuel winder from the same company that I bought the fuel distributor from. It's called a fuel winder. Okay, so I got the fuel, fuel winder package here. It's going to be the spool roller, roller for the fuel extruder. So now I'm going to unpack it and start the assembly process. So inside, I have this box. Looks like a board. Bag of electronics. Tape cords. And that's it. Okay, so here's all the parts laid out. Some electronic parts, a rod, some more electronic parts, and some more laser cut board. Okay, so I got the instruction packet, and it says that you need to print these parts from the website for your, with your 3D printer. So, I guess if you don't have a 3D printer, you're out of luck with this. But now I'm going to go print these parts and then I'll come back down here Then I'll come back and start assembling it So now that i got the parts 3D printed, I'm going to peel off all the Wrapping on the razor cut pieces Okay, so now i got it all peeled off I'm going to get the motor mount plate the gear motor and screw it into place so that it looks like this but don't tighten the screws up all the way okay so the next step is to attach the drop gear to the motor so we get a hex nut and an M3 screw and attach it with that okay so now, okay, so now that that's done I'm going to attach the hall sensor as the bag says Robotics Winder Sensor Board I'm going to attach it on here kind of like this So the next step is to put an M8 nut through a thread rod on a, in a washer and that's what the picture looks like but I think this is the rod they're looking for Okay, so this is how I think it goes. Have the thread rod sticking out this side, the gear piece up here. Next, I'm gonna get the big piece of wood and the motor one and connect them together and connect them together. So now the piece is like this you got the big piece, then we've got the one with the motor and electronic board and wired mounted onto it. Okay, so these instructions are kind of like the fuel exterior instructions, really vague. So if you can see in that picture, they got nuts on the back side of the electronic board. But the instructions didn't say do that in that step, so I'm going to do that. And then I got to find a nut trap and, and put a screw nut into some piece of the here, so yeah. So I got the boats on the back of the electronic board then I got a square nut and an M25 screw and it's going to be a small hole right here I'm going to slide it through so now that it looks like this so the next step after we mount the gear onto the rod we're going to mount the support base across from it so I got the support base on then I put the support arm on Make sure you keep it loose so you can bend it back. So now we're going to the next step. 
Okay, so let's take we're gonna screw the server mount onto the server servo. So screw the servo on with the screw and nuts on all four sides. And then I got another T another M25 screw and I know another M25 screw and a screw nut to hold this piece in place. Mounted it to the winder board. The winder board with the motor. So the next step is to take the servo arm and attach it to the the guide arm board with the four probe screws and then attach it to the servo so you can slide far enough to touch both sides. So now I want to get the magnet from the bag. This will be a dot on it which says that's the north side. So I'll put this in the back side of the gear cone. It'll be right here. Then we want to slide the gear hub piece onto the thread rod. Okay, so before you slide it on, you can put bearings to the front and back side of the gear hub. I'm going to do that now, and then tip the strap back on. Now that it's straight on to the rod, we can tighten the motor screws back up so that it's all in place. Okay, so I got all the wires soldered together, except for this one, because I was missing the three-way wire. But I had all the two way ones. So now I'm gonna put them all in this box and but you can figure it out. So now they look like this. The pentometer, however you say it, would go here. But I'm still waiting to get a replacement wire for it. Okay, put electronic connections and control box in this spot. So now this is the part we have to decide if it's going to be horizontal or vertically mounted. I'm going to go with vertically mounted. Someone put, someone put the intake plate right here and put get M25 screw and attach it to it. So now that looks like this, I'm going to get one of these tubes. I'm going to be using the 1.75mm one, so I'm going to cut to length. So now that I got cut to length. I went ahead and pushed it through the bottom of the plate. I do intake going at the top and the outtake going to the spool at the bottom. Next, I'm going to build the sensor mount. I'm going to get this piece and one with the small screw at the top. I said I want to put the razor mount piece of wood in at. So, next, we mount the razor into here. Manual and grip the wood so I put some masking tape around it so hopefully this works. Okay, so I mounted it, then I ran the routers through the inside hole. Now I'm gonna plug one end of the ribbon cable through the sensor mount and to a control board. So this is what it will so this is what it will look like when it's done. Okay, so I got the cable that I was missing. So right now I'm going to attach it, these pieces together, attach it to the control box, attach this together, attach it all to the board, the main board. And then I'll go back over and show you guys how I've done it. Okay, so I got it all put together. I'm going to go over some of the stuff I did to it. And then I'll show a clip of it being tested. So in this piece, I got the ribbon cable coming out of the sensor, it goes into the control board. I got the razor mounted, and then this cable is zip tied to this. Then it's all put together with these screws. And this is the piece that's supposed to be able to sense the speed of development going through. And then I found this tube, which is supposed to let the filament go through it. It's kind of hard to keep it staying, so I'm working on that some. And then I got the bearing and the nut on these two on this piece right here to hold the spool onto it. Then the motor I started to the wire onto it. It goes into control for the rest of the pieces. 
remember I showed you the server being built. You get these buttons all pushed in. And on the back side you got zip tab for camera management for the routers going up to the control board. And it all comes out of this box down here. And then you have the power cable that goes into the right here. So that's basically it. I'll probably do a from a pellets to the extruder to the rinder to a printed print in a feature video. Okay, so I'm in the video here for this week. So this is what I got done so far. But if I like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're ready for this first, please click subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.